Pastor. We have a question here from LZ Galeong, Rosales Pangasinan. Pastor, good evening. Uh, what does inordinate affection in Colossians 3.5 mean, Pastor? Colossians 3.5, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Uh, can you read that in Tagalog? Inordinate affection. Uh, before I will explain it. Oh, Pastor, so Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Patayin nga ninyo ang inyong mga sangkap ng katawang na nga sa ibabaw ng lupa. Pakikiapid, karumihan, masamang pita, masasamang nasa, at kasakiman na iyay pagsamba sa mga Diyos-Diyosan. Mm, karumihan, masamang pita. Uh, sinabi lang dyan, masamang pita, no? Uh, masamang nasa. Uh, Bisaya? Sa so, Bisaya po, Pastor. Busa patya ninyo ang mga yutanong butang diya sa sulod ninyo. Pakikilawas, kahugaw, pangibog nga unod nun, dautang tinguha, ug ang kadalo nga mo'y pagsimbag mga Diyos Diyos. So, kung wala gil siya tamang interpretasyon sa Bisaya o sa Tagalog, sa in English, ang inordinate affection is affection that is not ordinary. That's inordinate. Sa Bisaya, niyon lang, unod nung pangi, pangibong nga unod nun. Kung pangibong nga unod nun lang, pati na asawa o bana ma, ma, madamay. Kaya siyempre, kung saan na pagkaanak, kung di sila mangibong sa usag-usa, di ba? Madamay sila. Pero pag inordinate affection, konektado na sa 1 Corinthians 6.9, ang lalaki, mahigog mag-isig ka lalaki, inordinate na. When a man fell in love with a man and they both are married, that is inordinate. When a woman fell in love with a woman and they go together and do lesbianism or uh, sodomism, like our friend, uh, you know where? He's not our friend, really. <laughs> That's inordinate affection. Kana lang ma... Yun lang makakita ka na lalaki, hinahalikan sa labi yung kapwa lalaki. Wala ko kabalo, asay akong kaluton. Uh, this is not to disparage the, ano, the uh, <laughs> LBTQ. We are talking here spiritually, ha? As I said, I am not uh, disparaging you civilly because in civil life, secular life, you have the right to do that. Uh, it is not uh, yet against the law. Is, there a, <laughs> is it against the law to, to have... Maybe it's not yet... Uh, in other countries, it's already, it's already legal, no? But here, I don't know if it's legal here. It's not yet legal here. So, yeah, uh, me as uh, I am always with the Word of God, when I see that, I uh, I don't know what to feel. But that is inordinate affection. Uh, ako nga, matabihan lang ako ng lalaki, parang nangingimi na ako eh. Lalo na pag nakita ko, naghahalikan pa yung puro kapwa lalaki, lalaki ng katawan, tapos naghahalikan sila. Ako. Oh, yung mga kabaklaan dyan, baka magalit na naman kayo sa akin. Totoo itong sinasabi ko, biblical ito ah. <laughs> Biblia yan. Pero sa secular, in the secular world, I will protect your right to live. I'll protect your uh, right to be in this country. I'll protect your life to have a housing, uh, employment, entertainment, and so forth. In school, nobody should discriminate you from that because you, have, you are a human, so you, are, you have human rights. Even the scriptures does not call you that. But when it comes to salvation, I am sorry. I am not hateful to you. I'm not homophobic. But I am scriptural. I am the entrusty of the Father in His spiritual constitution, which is the Word of God. I'm sorry. First Corinthians 6, 9 will be applied to you. They are not going to heaven. That is inordinate affection according to the Word of God. When you fall in love with a dog, you are a human. And then you have a 
sexual relation with a dog. That's inordinate affection. Or uh, even in the word of God, that is forbidden. Or with an animal, you know. I, I've heard that uh, in many other uh, crazy countries, this girl married a dog. You know, she married a dog. That's inordinate. Praise the Father. Mm -hmm.